when I think about highlights, uh, I'm thinking about London 2012. Uh, that was uh, the second time we won the gold medal at the Olympics. Uh, so this one was really, really special to me because uh, it was not our best tournament, I think, but we, we were there as a team. You, you set two very, um, very significant Olympic markers as a, as a goal scorer. Uh, at Beijing, you, two, 2008, uh, you helped the Netherlands win gold by scoring 11 goals, which is... Uh, the, the most that ever by an individual athlete, um, individual women's athlete at, at Olympic Games. Um, then you also scored a lot of goals in London and at Rio. You, 19 Olympic goals you scored in total, which makes you the highest female scorer in Olympic history. Um, you know, you, you scored the more international goals than anyone ever to play for the Netherlands women, uh, more hoof classer goals than anyone ever to play in the hoof classer. Um, I, I guess my question is with all of these records, and you stated on the record when you were younger or when you were playing that. It was never about goals. It was never about records. It was all about the team winning. And I wondered whether now you've retired, whether those records mean a little bit more to you um, on reflection? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because during uh, your career, during all the years, you, you have so little time to think about the, the tournaments you won or the gold medals. And um, now when I retire, you have more time to think back and... Uh, uh, Sometimes when you see it back on a TV screen or something, you're like, oh, we, it, was a really, it was a really good time and it was a really nice time uh, that I had as a player. The, the only thing I was thinking was always, uh, we want to win the tournament. And I was always thinking, uh, yeah, about the team and not about the, the records. Uh, of course, now when I retired, um, it's nice that you have the records and that, uh, yeah, that you see your name sometimes in the list. Um, but yeah, when I'm when I was playing, the only thing I was thinking, I want to win this tournament or I want to win this game, no matter what. And um, when I see myself playing a few years back, I can see it on my face that uh, I only want to win that game, and uh, uh, it was always game phase on. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we're just going to quickly talk about um, the Netherlands team since you've left. Uh, they've they've. They've been in excellent form the last couple of years. Um, Alison and Anna's got them really firing. Um, they're going to go into Tokyo, the Tokyo Olympics, which will take place later on this year. They'll be hot favourites for the, for the gold medal. Um, I just wondered what your thoughts were about the current group and, uh, and which teams might also be their kind of biggest threat to, to kind of uh, reclaiming that gold medal. Yeah, I think they are still an amazing team. They they have so many good players with uh, uh, so much talent. Um, so I think, yeah, they are, uh, in my opinion, the number one for Tokyo, if if we can play. Um, yeah, I haven't seen them play uh, for, for a few months already, be, uh, all because of, of COVID. And uh, yeah, so it's it's not easy to to tell you uh, who's going to win the Olympics. Uh, but if I uh, look to the other uh, countries, uh, always Germany is, is, is a really good team. Uh, and of course, Argentina is always uh, a big battle between Netherlands and Argentina. So uh, I think uh, those, those teams are threats for, for the Orange. Um, yeah, but I think the Orange uh, can go for the gold medal in Tokyo. Yeah, they have they have still so many good players. Um, they have a, a good goalie. They have a good uh, penalty corner. So yeah, and a lot of good players. So I go for the for the Netherlands. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less, Martia. <laughs> <laughs> um, good, good players. Um, you, you you were a twice twice named FIH Player of the Year. Um, winning it in 2011 and 2012. Um, can you tell us the best players that you played both with and against during your career and what made them so good? Maybe just just one from it, one of each, the best you played with and the best you played against. Uh, I start with playing uh, with. Um, I have two. Uh, the first one is, uh, is uh, Minka Boy. I played a lot of years with her together for the club and uh, also in the national team. And I think she was an outstanding defender. Uh, she had no fear. She goes for every ball. And uh, 
next to that, uh, she was a great leader of, of the team. Uh, so I learned a lot of things of, uh, of her. So um, uh, that, that's number one. Uh, number two, I go for uh, Naomi Van Nas. She, she was also uh, a really good teammate. Um, her skills were amazing. Uh, and she had a really big stamina. She, she could go on, on, on and on. And she always wanted to win. So it was really nice to play with her uh, all over the years. I, I played, uh, I think, 12 years together in the, in the national team with her. Um, and the player against, uh, I think uh, it was uh, Aymar. Um, we played 12 years uh, against each other and we we're always really big battles, uh, Argentina against the Netherlands. Um, yeah, what, what she can do with a ball is, is, is crazy. Uh, her skills were, were really, really good, fantastic. And also uh, she was a really fast player. Uh, I wasn't. So that was always a, a big struggle to defend her, but it was really nice. You had to do a lot really of chasing. Nice. Had to do a lot yeah, of chasing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was really nice, and uh, yeah, we had a, a lot of big battles. So uh, uh, yeah, she was a really good she was a really good one, and I think she was like seven or eight times uh, best player of the world. I think. Um, so yeah, uh, she, I go for her. I think that's uh, yeah, that, that's a popular choice. I think our South American fans. I think be, so. Yeah, yeah. Be very happy with that one. <laughs> yeah. It's been lovely catching up with you and, and uh, i'm so pleased everything's going so well uh, we hear that you have some some um, very special news and some a new arrival is uh, is due to yeah. enter the world yeah it's a really exciting time times for us here uh, at home uh, because we're expecting our first baby in uh, one or two weeks but yeah from now on it can come every day i think uh, so exciting times but we are uh, totally ready for it and i uh, can't wait to to meet the little one well, congratulations to, to both of you and um, thanks once again for talking to us. Thank you.